struggle for control of both houses of Congress coming down to a handful of critical races. All the votes have now been cast, but the political landscape in Washington is still far from clear today. The results of that hard fought race in Pennsylvania could help decide whether Democrats keep control of the U.S. Senate. It is Wednesday afternoon and the big story on Action News this noon is a few key races that will decide whether President Biden gets a partner in Congress or one that works to block his agenda for the next two years. In Pennsylvania, just this morning, Republican Mehmet Oz called Democrat John Fetterman to officially concede in the race for U.S. Senate. Fetterman's win hands Democrats a major flip in their bid to keep control of the upper chamber. The two sought to succeed retiring Republican Senator Pat Toomey. Action News reporter Catherine Scott has more now on the end of this bitter contest from Drexel Hill. People across the country were watching this race between Oz and Fetterman, and it did get ugly at times. John Fetterman in his election headquarters in Pittsburgh and Mehmet Oz in Newtown Bucks County. The men battled to fill the seat for retiring Republican Senator Pat Toomey. Overnight, the race was projected for Fetterman, and this morning around 9.30, Oz called Fetterman to concede. I think it was closer than I would have guessed it would have been six months ago. Two guys basically with not as much political experience as everybody would have liked to have seen going for the office. Oz trailed in the polls, but the gap narrowed since the summer. Some voters were turned off, believing Oz just bought the house in Pennsylvania to run for office after decades in New Jersey. There's not a drop of PA blood in him, man. I, that's probably the biggest thing. Oz, who is backed by former President Trump, painted Fetterman as weak on crime and questioned whether he was healthy enough to serve after Fetterman's stroke days before the May primary. Some voters are happy to see the end of the relentless political ads, signs, and robocalls. I thought it was a very negative run race on both parts. In regards to all the races, state officials said unofficial election results should be available within a few days. In Drexel Hill, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.